The CISSP certification is designed to demonstrate that you have both the knowledge and the experience required to succeed in the information security field. When you pass the grueling CISSP exam, you're demonstrating your knowledge. After you pass that test, you'll need to provide evidence that you have five years of experience in the field. In this video, I'll break down the CISSP experience requirement and help ensure that you're ready to earn your certification. Now, there are two main components to the CISSP experience requirement. First, you must have five years of paid work experience in the information security field. Second, that experience must cover two or more of the eight CISSP domains. Now, the most straightforward way that you can meet the five-year requirement is to demonstrate that you have five years of full-time work experience. If you've held a full-time job in cybersecurity, you'll just need to prove that you worked at least 35 hours a week in that job. The full-time experience is accrued on a monthly basis, so you're credited with one month of experience for every four weeks that you held down a full-time job. If you had part-time experience working at least 20 hours a week in the field, you can also apply that experience toward the CISSP requirement. In that case, ISC Squared will credit you with six months of full-time experience for every 1,040 hours that you worked part-time. You can combine part-time and full-time experience to reach the five-year requirement. Now remember, that second requirement is that you must have experience in at least two of the eight domains of information security. Here's that list of the domains. In most security jobs, it's actually pretty easy to show that you worked in at least two of these domains. Let's walk through a couple of examples. Someone working in user access management might spend the majority of their day creating, modifying, and removing user accounts. That's easily countable as direct experience in domain five, identity and access management. But it's also likely that someone in that role is also involved in preparing for audits and other access reviews. That responsibility falls under Domain 6, Security Assessment and Testing. Someone who's worked in that job for five years meets the CISSP experience requirement. Now, a network security professional, on the other hand, might spend most of their time configuring and managing routers, switches, and other network devices. That experience clearly fits into Domain 4, Communication and Network Security but they might also be involved in projects that design new network security architectures. That experience fits into Domain 3, Security Architecture and Engineering. Now, hopefully this gives you a good sense of the ways that you can think about your own job responsibilities and find a path toward documenting your experience in at least two domains. There are some other important details surrounding the CISSP experience requirement. But before we get to those, I just want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass it on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new cybersecurity videos as they come out. All right, let's get back to the experience requirement. When I described the experience requirement earlier, I mentioned that you must have five years of full-time paid work experience. While volunteer time used to count toward the CISSP requirement years ago, that is no longer the case. You may only count positions where you are being paid. Also, you may not count internships, even if you were paid during that internship. Now, I definitely feel that internships provide valuable experience, but the bottom line is that ISC Squared won't let you count internship work toward your CISSP certification. Another thing people used to do is interpret the CISSP domains very broadly when adding up their years of experience. For example, some candidates used to claim that their work as a physical security guard counted as work experience under the security operations domain. Years ago, I heard many stories of people successfully earning their certification with that type of experience. However, recently, I've only heard stories of people trying to submit this experience and then having it rejected by ISC Squared. 
So before you spend the time and money taking the CISSP exam, be sure that your experience really does fit into the domains of information security. Now there is one shortcut available to you. If you hold a college degree or another approved certification, you'll get credit for one year of experience and you will only be required to demonstrate four years of actual work experience. You may meet this requirement with any four-year college degree or with a graduate degree in information security that comes from a school certified as a U.S. National Center of Academic Excellence in Information Assurance Education. You may also meet one year of the experience requirement by earning another security certification from a fairly long list of possibilities. Some of the more popular certifications on this list are CompTIA's Security Plus and CISA Plus certifications, ISC Squared CCSP and SSCP certifications, and the ISACA CISA and CISM certs. If you're not quite ready to meet the experience requirement, that doesn't mean that you can't take the exam you're allowed to take and pass the CISSP exam without any experience. If you do, you'll be awarded the title of Associate of ISC Squared, and then you'll have six years to finish earning your required experience. Are you ready to earn your certification and demonstrate your experience? If you are, visit certmike.com and learn how you can get started earning your CISSP with my free study group. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for joining me.